Happy half fortnight, gents. As we shift our quote unquote focus to the Switch 2 news, it seems like Nintendo is leaning heavily on DLSS, assuming it retains the portable slash docked single architecture dynamic and all of its advantages. Seems to me they have to go down one or two major paths to achieve the kind of fidelity being rumored on a 15 to 20 watt device. Number one, endow a relatively modest GPU with a disproportionately high number of tensor cores for its general capability. Number two, put a secondary GPU in the dock, uh, possibly as an optional power dock, quote unquote, with an unaccelerated one including mm -hmm. included in the base S, 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 in the base SKU rather completely losing my reading abilities. Uh, which of these routes do you think is most likely and what implications do you think it will have? Personally, I think it's going to be route one. Well, I think it would just be a GPU with tensor cores. I'm not sure it needs to be disproportionately high. I don't know what you think, John. Yeah, I tend to agree. I think that's just going to be their approach. I also don't think a secondary GPU in the dock, the idea of a power <laughs> dock, I don't think that's a good idea at all as it would immediately split the user base. Uh, although if they put it in, in the power brick, maybe we might be talking. I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> uh, but... Uh, I think Nintendo will continue to focus on making this as streamlined as a device as possible, and they don't want to introduce any wild cards like that, where you might have to purchase an accessory to receive more performance. So, yeah. It's not going to happen. Yeah. I mean, con conceivably, they could have, like, the ROG Ally, where you've got this, like, 30-watt uh, oh. mode Yeah, uh, when docked. I don't know what you think about that, Oliver. Yeah, well, I mean, the existing Switch, if you look at it on the original revision, it's basically like a 10-watt or 12-watt mode, right? So mm. <laughs> that is sort of what they're doing uh, to a lesser degree. But I, I think people are getting uh, like way out over their skis on the, on the Breath of the Wild and Matrix Awakens uh, demo discussion just because we, don't, we haven't seen media from this. We don't have screenshots. It could yeah. be any like especially the Matrix Awakens demo. We don't know what settings that was running at. We don't know how it compares to the existing. Console yeah, that, that's versions. an interesting question, right? Because what if we actually saw that demo and it wasn't very good? <laughs> <laughs> I, I could just imagine someone who you know is not intim as intimately familiar with the Matrix Awakens demo as we might be looking at that and saying, "Wow, that looks like a PlayStation Five, you know, version of that game." And it's in <laughs> fact not close. <laughs> Yeah, no secondary GPUs in the dock. I think that, you know, no. the, the logistics involved, it would simply be easier to make a home console. Yeah, they're not going to do that. 